my skin with uh, Dermaglow Primer and next I'm using a foundation. This is new to me. This is from Co. And this is sold at Shoppers Drug Mart. And I'm using a Co sponge as well. And this is in the shade number two. They didn't have so many shades. Uh, they had only about six six shades i would say uh this is number two it has a semi-matte finish and it stayed on my face all day uh, it has a beautiful coverage and it's very comfortable on the skin as well i really really liked it next i'm using a concealer from uh, physicians formula this is uh, the insta ready line this is in the shade light and i'm just gonna apply it underneath my eyes to highlight and yeah i'm applying it with a brush first and I'm gonna blend it with the same sponge. I'm gonna set my under eyes with this e.l.f. blush brush and I'm using Cover FX Translucent Light Powder. This is my absolute favorite powder from uh, Sephora. I really like it. Next, I'm using Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and this is uh, the Japanese blush brush and I'm gonna just bronze up my skin with that uh, middle shade. And I'm going to take that cool tone powder and I'm just going to use that blush brush again just to contour my cheeks a bit more. And next I'm using this Chanel. Uh, this is a limited edition uh, highlighter. I'll list its name down below. I'm going to highlight my cheekbones, nose, cupid bow um, on top of my brows as well just to give me a all over glow. And I'm using Rockator uh, blush. This is by Benefit, just on the apples of my cheek. And I'm using another Kat Von D uh, palette. This is the eye palette. I'm using that shade uh, as my transition color with a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to take that burnt orange with a smaller brush. And I'm just going to define my eyelids a bit more. And I'm just going to apply it just beneath that crease color. And I'm going to darken my eyelids uh, gradually. So I'm going to go to another color and this is a brown shade. I'm going to apply it as well on my lids and I'm just going to blend it back and forth just to create more definition to the eye. And next I'm taking that black and I'm just going to apply it in the outer V of my eye just to define my eyes a little bit more and I'm just going to blend it with a clean brush. I'm going back to that burnt orange and I'm just going to apply it on the crease just to add a little bit more warmth. And I'm applying a glitter glue and this is by Too Faced and now I'm going to use this gritty palette. This is by Estee Edit. I'm taking that green and I'm just going to apply it in the inner corner. And now I'm going to take that blue shade and I'm just going to apply it between the black and the green. And I'm just going to pack that green again. And I'm taking that brown shade again. I'm going to apply it in the lower lash line. Just smoke it out and I'm just going to take that pencil. This is in the color black and this is by NARS. I'm going to apply it in the waterline. And now I'm using Claire's uh, store eyeliner. I really love this, uh, except for the tip of this liner. It's not really the greatest, but the formula, it's matte, it's dark, it's black, and it stayed on my eyes all day. I'm using Eyelur Lashes. This is in the style definition number 126. I really like how thick they are. They're hard to apply, but they're nice really on the eyes. They remind me a lot of Samantha by Huda Lashes. And I'm just going to take some uh, glitter. This is a silver color uh, from Claire Store in the inner corner. And for lips, I'm taking Japanese Maple by MAC and uh, Glamour to Go Gloss by Essence. And that's it for this look, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.